Hello, hello, and welcome back, my fellow friends, to a new episode of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Episode 22, as far as my counter goes, at least. And if that's actually wrong, tap down in the comments below. Yeah. Okay, um, so in the last episode, we completed the previous chapter, chapter kind of story mission. So, yeah, today we probably won't be able to go to the chapter 11, so I'm not going to try hard, at least running there but we do want to start at least our push towards what is that um helios beta i think yes exactly towards helios beta where we wait 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 i t only realize that right now we actually have a fleet already at the correct marker but i assume let's actually listen first to chapter 11. we've received a communique from libran sir it's admiral kane and she's not happy we are at war, Commander. We cannot afford traitors to flourish in our ranks unpunished. The Quorum wants Zenon brought to the Intercolonial Courts on treason charges immediately. Capture him. Alive. Otherwise, I'll have you and Agathon escorted from the Daedalus in handcuffs. Oops. Commander, Sinan didn't have time to disable his navigation transponder before jumping, so we've got a pretty good pin on his location. Priority objective is to retrieve Sinan from the Cylons, alive. Then, maybe we can go looking for Galactica, before Kane changes her mind and relieves us anyway. Okay, so we will have Galactica over there. So the real Battlestar Galactica. Um, we do have the, well, our fleet over there has only 3,000 points. But it has a theoretical maximum of 6,000. So, what is if we take this fleet and jump it there and combine them? That might be actually interesting because I think we need to have Daedalus over there, but we, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, okay? So far, so good at least. Um, speaking of Daedalus, we have our. FTL is being recharging. Uh, is recharging, so we're not going to jump this fleet here. Um, could use some reinforcements, so that might actually be something that we're going to do once the next set of uh, our next ship is completed, which is a Ranger Minerva. It's called. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much everything we can do in the first turn. And go. Fleet, that's whoa. That's a lot Battle of things. Okay, so Battlestar Group, that's Fleet 3, auto-resolve that, yeah, that's exactly the one that I was expecting, so we're going to auto-resolve this one. Probably going to be pretty good. Wait, we lost an Adamant. That's bad. A fortified colony is under attack. And this is Fleet Group Daedalus. Okay, well, this is one we, where we cannot auto-resolve, so let's kick some um, toasters. Let's toast some toasters, there we go. Every time we have this loading screen, I really am stunned how beautiful this actually looks. But anyways, we're probably being it from the rear, yes, like I thought, but there's not really a lot we want to do. I mean, we could, of course, smack in everything. Um, kind of in this corner, but it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, and the other things are all like, we, like they were previously. So I'm not going to bother, quite honestly. Just going to jump in. Uh, I think we won't even jump in because we, the, the silence are the ones that are jumping in. Okay, we do have some satellites here. Anyways, first things first, launch fighters. Okay, brilliant. Now we take these three bad boys. On it, Commander. I make this one happen. Now we take you three, you go pretty much like that and my and the ranger does pretty much the same thing yes, however sir. it will go with the super strong banking yep yeah. and we will set full defense on Daedalus in order to increase our radius range out to almost over there and go watch your and I do think that this fleet is pretty strong. Set condition one, I repeat. Set, set condition, condition one. one. Not a drill. Set condition one throughout the ship. I repeat, set condition one throughout the ship. 
Um, I do not want to send out the adamants too fast out there. They're just a bunch of smaller ships, or that's at least what I think that they are. Um, nevertheless, these guys will now be boosting straightforward. I mean, we need to catch up. Oh wait, we've totally forgot to use the wipers here. Okay, okay, okay. At least one an enemy squadron in heading in. In bone. Um, so let's go and target with these vipers the, the squadron that we t um, definitely know of. And then we take one viper squadron, which will be defending the Minotaurs. One, the other one, or one of the other Viper Squadron is going to defend the Ranger, and the third one is going to stick with the Adamans. Speaking of the Adamans, going to continue pretty much on course. Um, going to set a defense. Do we want to go for defense? No, let's leave it at the moment. We're still far enough. Um, we will, however, still continue full throttle with these guys, Ranger, Cruiser. Understood. Um, do we want to boost? Or do we want to have great Raiders? Yeah, let's go for Raiders since its main weaponry is, or our missiles anyways, and they don't really need to be that close in. Incoming Escort missiles! Okay, that's good that we have now split up our Vipers Ooh. for defensive duty. And we have now AFF confirming unit, that's brilliant. So we can go on full offensive capabilities and you guys are going to be out of full thrust. Um, you will be... Oh wait. No, 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 no. Actually, yeah, let, let's take you. Point you that way, point you this way and the one in the center. Let's leave it at the slightly less aggressive portion in order to still close in a bit because I do think we are actually still out of range maybe not out of these um the range of those guys but yeah um you have identified pretty much them so you can uh, switch to offensive posture you can go this for on one cell on this guy and one cell on the other guy you will be pretty much splitting up that's fine and you still don't have IFF and in that case, we leave you at Raiders, like a defensive posture for the Raiders range. And do a slight bank to the left side. And then we can do a turn going around like that. And then we can come in and broadside them. Speaking of broadsiding, I do think that these two still at least um, shouldn't go full, full offensive posture just yet. Otherwise, we'd lose too much. Um, well, the opportunity to gain, get in closer, and this is at the moment a bit more important since they are very dependent on range because of gun, because of their regular guns. Come on, come on, come on! Switching gun, commander. Where came incoming okay. missiles? Give me manual oh, perfect! All missiles been, have been shut down with our vipers now you can go for regular um on full attack portion no oh, that's the wrong button there we go now you can focus fire this one um yeah you're pretty much okay you're actually taking a beating we should reduce speed in that case okay still focus fire that that's fine by me we have nemesis confirmed one prototype squadron, okay, that's pretty much done. Pretty much toast. The toast is pretty much toast, that's great. Yes, sir. And. Well, these two are probably going to be rather a bit more dangerous compared to what we are yes, facing Commander. at the moment already. And. Yeah, let's go for focus for you, though. That's a bit too early, I think. Going to take out one um, away from. Well. I will leave one of those in um, defensive portion or to get the traders range and the other two will go offensive and fire their missiles since that increases the 
number of missiles. Um, you have already taken quite a beating, that's not that big of a deal, I think. Because the squadron of the enemy squadron is already pretty much gone. Okay, first enemy ship destroyed. Ranger is already starting to take some damage. And there we have a Phobos. Okay, that's the enemy. Enemy's flagship. There is a pretty much nothing to really care about. Um, you're defending the Ranger, that's good. The Ranger is now going to turn away. Uh, we will fire one volley at this crest. Something, something. And the second volley at the foe boss. And after that, in the next turn, we will go for fire control repairs. You uh, and you. No. Both of you full attack posture, you can go and pretty much delete this guy ASAP. And you have now identified all enemies, so we can take the last missile, um, the last element that hasn't fired its missiles and fire them. You will already start turning around, even though we still have one target to shoot at. Well, it's pretty much already gone, so might as well start turning around. And you now, since we have identified them, we can start taking broadsides. Full broadsides. I thought we'd go the other way around, but... I think we're not in a good position to fly right straight through that, or are we? Yeah, why not? Let's go for this. Understood. Let's go for a nice broadside and then fly that way formation. We can probably split it up pretty good in order to avoid crashing our own ship. Ranger is taking damage, so we're turning away. Showing other portions of the armor, that's good. Keres, I think was that. Destroyed. This Keres is also pretty much yeah, destroyed. This Nemesis, almost completely gone already. Um, yes, is that avoiding damage, uh, crash? Yes, that is avoiding crash or will avoid crash. Now you and you focus fire on this Phobos, no clear how strong that is, and I don't really want to figure it out the hard way. Um, you defensive fire control repairs and you turn tail. Um, Nemesis, that's pretty much good. You still don't have missiles, is that correct? Yes, you don't. Okay, go. I could being hacked. Well, okay, one missile incoming, missiles incoming, two Viper squadrons deleting missiles, Phobos gone. Perfect victory. Wait, there's still something around. I don't think so, so we're just going to leave it the way it is. There's no crash going on, going to happen. Yeah, that's perfect. Just waiting, go, go. Okay. No, there's still enemies. There's something. There has to be something still around. Otherwise, we wouldn't be waiting, right? Um. Oh. Oh. This. Okay. Well, in that. No, not you. Let's take you. these vipers. Go for the nemesis. Um. Say we all. No, let's go for offensive and cancel repairs. Go, go, Understood. and yes, you pretty much turn around. Is there going? Will there something bad happen? I don't think there it is. Something, anything. There we go. Regular, and you can close. And even though I think the Vipers will deal with it before any of the other ships. Actually arrive. Totally forgot about that little nemesis there. Oh, maybe we should actually engage Daedalus. Okay, missile has been fired. Um, Daedalus. Oh, Daedalus has no guns facing this direction. Oh, that's 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 mean. Okay, well in that case, um, you're pretty much done anyway. So going again for defense and repairs. Turning around, you. Three, yes. You have you got already missiles? I assume you have, so we're firing missiles. Yes. Go. Oh, and yes, Daedalus is actually shooting, so we should have turned it uh, onto offensive posture. But missiles incoming, Vipers incoming. 
Oh, it is actually on the offensive. Okay, brilliant. And that's it. Come on, working, 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 calculating the steps, right? Are we just enjoying the way this nemesis is about to blow up? Vipers coming in for the kill! From all sides, missiles incoming! Wow. Wow. <laughs> Four Viper squadrons just about to kill this little nemesis has one hull left and two vo no, three volleys of missiles are incoming. I mean, just look at that. And bang. Totally forgot about that little sneaky thing. Okay, proceed, so let's have a look. Okay, we're already cool 15 minutes into the episode, wow. Um, that's definitely not going to be a new chapter mission, like story mission, but still. Okay, so we have chapter 11. <laughs> so postpone, we could do that, even without the, the jump coordinates, sir. even without the, um, even without Daedalus, there we go. So let's have a look, before we do that, we definitely need the fleet that is better, I mean, with the commander, officer, there we go, officer is I think called, we need to, first of all, we're going to transfer the Artemis, let's have a look, what's our fleet looking like, we still can transfer one more ship, we have two corvettes, three adamants, well, frigates in that case, and, well, yeah, so let's take another frigate, I mean, because the frigates are better, obviously, than the corvettes, even though having three corvettes is pretty interesting, I do like what we have here four four frigates. I don't know whether it's really worth having four frigates. You know what? Yeah, let's go with four frigates and that and with that we're going to stop that and leave that. And do we want to do the mission, the story mission right now? I mean we're seventeen minutes into the episode. I think we're going to end today's episode, not not just yet, because first things first, and we're going to do the story mission next time. Um, so let's have a look here. This one's still recharging. You are over there, a bunch of silent fleets over this. That's no big, no big deal. Daedalus, still two turns away from the next ship, so that might actually take a while. Um, yes, actually, no, we're going to end this turn. And do chapter 11 in this mission, in this mission, in this episode. So let's proceed. Let's go. This is. So today's episode will be actually longer than the other episodes, but if, I still think this is something very positive for you guys. So you're going to experience one um, story mission after the other. Okay, so we do know, however, that we need a raptor. Mission prerequisites require the use of one Raptor Squadron. That's exactly what we're going to do. We will take one of the... Well, first of all, you're going to definitely you know, have some uh, Mark II Vipers and, of course, one of the Raptor Squadrons. The other thing we're going to use is one thermonuclear warhead because we do need more peer peer because we don't have Daedalus. We don't have the additional support of those well, of Daedalus, <laughs> and that means of well, of two squadrons. So yeah, that's something. So we're a bit lacking in firepower, and I think we will go actually with another with a totally different approach. I mean, look at that amount of enemies. Um, we will focus on vipers. So we do have four vipers, five viper squadrons. That's actually not that much if I think about that right now. Okay, so you definitely need torpedoes and you definitely need torpedoes. Um, you have Vipers Mark II, please. You have Vipers Mark II, you have Mark IIs and you have Mark IIs as well. Okay, so we... Let's take these elements as well to this side. So we will have two more or less parallel running conga line or oh, conga lines just lines of adamants something like that they will fly together so this is be going to be one big formation and the other um our second formation was this one here 
the um, Artemis and these two Corvettes, uh, cor Corvettes, Mandacles, yeah, Mandacle Corvettes. So yeah, this is it. And well, we definitely won't won't use the same tank we've been using so far. I'm going to utilize the Vipers more as our offensive capability and stay back with our capital grade ships. Contact. Commander, Sinan's got an impressive escort looking after him. Gods above, Kothos. You promised I was under your protection. Sinan, your communications are shared with the Daedalus, as were your jump coins. Well, Daedalus is not here. Commander, you and Kane decided to double down and ignore Clothos' threat. What about Galactica? Helena, your sister is on that ship. Please don't try to run, Sinan. We will shoot you down if you do. Okay, let's have a look at the battlefield first of all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Target. That's bad. So, and we are not a lot below it. So, first of all, we're going to take Artemis go down. The other thing we do is launching yes, all sir. squadrons. Okay, good. So, that being said, so frankly speaking, I don't expect the man to cause both of them to survive this. And to be honest, we will go with full defense on the manticores, and as well full defense at the at least for the time being on these ones. However, these ones will break off towards the right hand side. So it, the idea is more or less that these four will try to deal with all of these, whilst these three with these two enemies. Oh, we already know that these are talons. Okay. <laughs> you betrayed us to Cylons. What else are we supposed to do? There's nothing I sold them that they wouldn't have figured out for themselves. The rebellion could have been put down years ago. Don't pin your failure on me. Can you believe this guy? He blames us for not winning the war <laughs> after working with the enemy. They weren't the enemy back then. Not until Colonial Fleet made them one. Okay, that's a conspiracy, I think. Okay, we have one, two um, raider squadrons about to head in. So, two talons are no problem for these guys. Um, Dock your raptor squadron on Vergen Station. Okay, so raptor. How do I do that? Uh, that's probably just Vergen Station, so... Okay, now that's a bad idea. Um, let's actually wait a second. I want to have... Okay, that, that's the wrong menu. There we go, like that. I want to have all but Raptor and one. Now let's take two. Let's take three squadrons and destroy this war driver squadron. That's the first thing we're going to do. Second thing we're going to do is to take these two. Wait, we're going to go back to this mode. And slow them down. They will not close in. The Artemis, however, it will. Well, it has to catch up in the first place, but anyways. So you are pretty much staying put. So, so that's pretty much the way we're going to split this one. Let's see how things go. I don't see any other fighters so far. No, new fighter. New fighter up here. And two more. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Okay, first fighter squadron is taking fire. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to take these guys and all focus fire on this war driver squadron. Um, you still going there. That's fine. So I do want to take just with the Artemis these two down and then the circling now that will take a while. Uh, but two enemy contacts. Well new contacts in that regard. So we now stop moving. Well stop moving, just slow down as much as we can. We have only two vipers and that's the problem. I don't want to head out with those to engage them away from the main ships. Um 
if things go well, we will be able to take out this War Driver Squadron and this one pretty fast. Now we can take all of our squadrons and head back. So yeah, now that's our plan so far. Let's have a look how the battle is going on here. On Seems like the first squadron is down. We have a new IFF. Oh, double O. Okay, that's bad. That's beyond bad. That's pretty terrible. Uh, terraform. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There is one. There is the war driver squadron pretty much here, so we can take away. Um, okay, so let's go and select this one. We don't need this. That's mm, the Raptor. We don't need the Raptor. Three. Is there another squadron? Okay, anyways, we're going to take this one off. We'll leave one squadron on it and um, defend the adamant. So we are sending those back. Now we'll have four of the Vipers against these. Oh, no, these are heavy raiders. So boarding parties, and that's a regular raider. Okay, so you may be incoming missiles. I hope the other two will be in time, so we take these and intercept heavy raiders now. You will... No, we don't want to turn that hard. Turn this and we go for full offensive and focus fire on this one as well as all of our missiles. Actually, no, we don't want to fight these missiles. You cancel and you I just hope that they will not hit each other because that happened before I know I can remember that so you move down you move up in that regard so that should hopefully make some clearance before all the missiles will go away and you're too hard like that okay brilliant um you still go that way, that's good. Manticores. I don't want to split them. But I do think we will rather need their firepower over there. Um, I have an idea. Let's take these guys, mm, not the Viper. And they will now. That's going to be really close. So they will sprint forwards, fire their torpedoes, turn around. That's going to be it. Understood. Um. And as for you, move there. I have no idea whether that's okay, but let's just move you towards that station. Okay, let's see how things work out. Missiles heading out, no friendly fire, that's brilliant. Okay, Revenant. Okay, that thing is taking quite a beating already. Um, okay, one of our elements is also taking a pounding, that's bad. And the bigger prob, well the bigger problem is the wrong thing to say, but the other thing that we have is that now a second one of these guys is coming in and if we don't take we should take them out one by one but mm. okay how are things looking um wait where is our last viper squadron did that thing disappear okay you're just engaging one okay that's fine that's fine by me that's fine by me. okay so you should be now within range and full fire focus fire and you go down in order to make your top artillery spare as well stop boosting full offensive yes sir both of you fire your munition at this talon and once you're there we're going to head off turn off so this is like the pretty much the biggest situation at the moment uh, we have. So you're engaging this one. You two are... Let's engage Heavy Raider. Regular Raider. Now first we go for the Heavy Raider. That's Understood. the more important thing. The question is, should we continue to focus on this one or not? 
Well, let's hope that this is not a mistake focusing this one first. One thing I want to do, however, is to slow all of them down. And you should be turned a bit in this direction. Um, you are the one that has taken most damage. So you're going to go... Prepare for a hard turn next turn. If you're going to go for defensive, for the defense part. Let's go defense, but stick. And next turn, we're going to make a hard turn. Okay, go. Okay, yes, you're taking. Okay, brilliant, it's done. Incoming missiles, let's hope that. Yeah, shoot the missiles down. Okay, no, we lost it. We're losing this ammo. That's pretty much gone. This one's pretty much gone. Incoming missiles, you. Probably this is going to be too late. Setting this one to defensive. So you go full defense as well. And full no, actually this one makes more sense if we go like that. So this one's probably already toast, quite honestly. I think this one's already toast. So you No, oh, we haven't even taken a lot of them. Oh I haven't had a look at this one. Okay, this one has taken quite a bit of a baiting. Let's focus on this one. That way we will reduce the total amount of damage incoming anyways. Um, and with this situation, actually, until we get there, these ones will probably probably already be toast. So, um, let's turn this way. And how are things looking with the... Hello there. Okay, so Okay, the fact that it is under a tag of two is not good. Can we fight a weapons? Yes, so let's fight <laughs> let's fight the missiles and move to this one. I don't know what we should do with this thing actually. Um is it, oh, is it board? Yeah, boarding Vergen station. Okay, that's it. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, you have fired your missile, that's pretty much it. Okay, go. Adamant is taking damage. And yes, it's gone. Couldn't do anything. Okay, the other, next one taking damage. Sir, Marines have boarded and are securing the prisoner. Liebert Marshals are en route. We need to ensure the handover site is clear of hostiles. Okay, so this is looking very, very, very bad for these guys here. Um, we go full defense and we now turn away. You will focus fire. Yes, focus fire on that thing and run away. What's with you? Defending Artemis. No, you're not going to defend the Artemis. You will be... Um, this squadron here. No, no, no. no. You focus with these guys, this squadron, so we will all confirmed. fight that. Missiles are going that way. We destroyed the first one of these talent. The second one is now pretty much. Um, now we're going to take these ones. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Both of you selecting. You go again, zero. Zeroing out, and you fly back towards that. So say we all. And well, you just shoot that thing that down, please. Adamant is taking damage. Let's see if we can save at least two of these adamants. You taking damage? You're good. What could they possibly have given you, Sinan, that was worth selling us out? The same as any other client. I am a craftsman. My <laughs> services were available to whomever could afford them. So oh boy. Used to be tools, Labors. laborers. Carthos wanted the same thing I sold every other colony. Designs for tools to build. It doesn't matter what I did or didn't know about their intention. We were doomed before Clothos had ever contacted me. The question you should be asking, Helena, is why didn't your sister stop this war when she had the chance? 
God that you'll ever get the chance. To wow, beautiful how it now. actually stopped the battle in the background. Leave Sam out of this. That's beautiful. Okay. So this item is looking pretty grim. Um You and you go both again full offensive. You take missiles, fire away on this Ravenant. Um, right is the problem, so the right side, so we'll try to show the left side. There we go, and you pretty much do the same thing, but you stay defense. You stay just that way, um, on the defensive posture. You two can now boost forward towards that. Well, that might actually take a while until this thing catches up. Um, okay, so you... First take out this squadron, then take out the other squadron. And then we can go and focus this squadron and then kill that one. Well, go for the ships. Okay, armor is completely done. Left is already gone, so... Uh, this is probably not going to survive for another round. So this one only has... The uh, top zero... Rear... Rear and bottom, so you go... Full this way, and you fire your missiles, even though that's probably not going to make a... That big of a difference. Um... You two already have fired, so we go around that way, and you switch back to defense. Um, <laughs> hmm. You know what? Let's just remove you from this, leave you on zero zero, and flying in there full speed. Ah, it's just going to continue there. And how about taking the thermonuclear warhead? Thermonuclear warhead, and we're just firing it across the entire map. Okay, now that thing's damaged. Firing it across the entire map towards that thing. That seems reasonable. No, let's go for this thing here first. Nuclear strike prepared. Nuclear strike prepared, good. Um, you guys are pounding away this guy. And once you're done, we're going to kill ships with it. Adamant is taking damage. This adamant is gone. Lost in adamant. Yeah. Okay, all the missiles were targeting this one. Okay, that's good. So they wasted missiles. Thermonuclear warhead on its way. That's good. So you and... Well, you both have pretty much received the same amount of damage. So you just fly away like that. You, no, full attack posture, firing munitions. Do you want to go for the... Yes. Like that, and you be... On it, Commander. This, that's great. Um, clear the silent presence from the vicinity. Okay, well, wow, 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 wait, wait. This thing is pretty much suiciding right now. Okay, great. Adamant is taking damage. Okay, beautiful torpedo strike there. Get him, get him. This adamant is taking a beating, and the talent got destroyed. Perfect. So now we can take boosting thrusters and go for this nuclear strike. Ease on its way, and now the vipers are starting to take everything. Um, let's have a look at Manticore One. Looking very bad. <laughs> oh, Manticore Two. Okay, you're still right. Okay, but we're still going to do the same thing with these two, and I'll just run away. Yes, sir. Full defense and go away. Adamant yeah. is taking damage. That's the only thing they were actually meant to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Lost in adamant, sir. Mm. And nuclear strike on its way. Okay, very good. And we... Whoa, that's a Cerberus. Okay, that's bad. Um, This adamant is... Well, that adamant has survived the battle, pretty much. And we're just going to take the missiles and fire from here while we now wait until the Artemis comes in and clean up with the vi uh, with the vipers yes and nuclear strike beautiful wow that arcane took 
<laughs> a lot of damage. Okay. Um, they're going to do a big circle before engaging a second time. Let's have a look at the the squadrons here. All squadrons focus on this one. And now we're going to use the squadrons for the pretty much the mo most part of the rema remaining part of the battle. Manticore is taking damage. Still not out of range. Missiles incoming. Okay, they are going for this man to call. Okay, both of them have taken quite a beating front 20, front rear, okay. So, um... On it, Commander. Just, think, just doing a small turn here, the Viper's doing the job. You, well, in repair engineering, but we're not going to re-engage with this one. Missiles incoming! Manticore is taking damage. I think that's more than enough for this Manticore. This Manticore is going to go away. And there we go, Arcane destroyed. You offensive firing munitions, Revenant, and disengaging for the rest of the battle. You closing in. And you pretty much all go for this guy here. Because, well, the torpedo strike should Make deal a lot of damage. damage to this guy. Oh, not quite. Almost, but not quite. Okay, Mandicord is engaging. Artemis is within firing range. And Armour is about to give up. Okay, so you focus fire Revenant should be about to die. Arcane has no left at Armour. Okay, that's good. Okay, even though we're pretty much outgunned, we're doing good. Let's just hope that this Manticore survives. Artemis is starting to take damage. Revenant has been destroyed. Oh, beautiful how the, how the Artemis is actually dealing with them. So, right is zero, front is pretty low. Well, that's all right. Just going to show the left one starting repairs in the hangar deck. And focus fire arcane with underneath it. Brilliant. Okay, bottom zero incoming missiles. Okay, we should have started flag earlier. That's bad for us. We could have stopped all of this miss of these missiles with our flag. Okay, so we're going to go with flag left, and that's pretty much it. You now focus this one. I'm just going to leave it like that and go down. Um, you people. Yes, commander. Like this. Wait, we actually don't need to, to turn them around, just firing the weapons, that's enough. And there we go, that one is gone. Now only one left. And no missiles are fired. There we go, now missiles are fired. Let's see whether they're actually going to arrive in time. The left is still pretty good, actually, so let's just show the left side of our armor. That's it. And there we go, everything is away. Missiles and torpedoes. Torpedo is about to hit, and torpedo hit confirmed. Um, left is still all right, that's good. Left is still all right, top is acceptable. Let's, let's just start rising, that's the only thing we're going to do. And there we go, that thing's about to die. Brilliant. Okay, we were heavily outgunned, but we still managed to prevail without losing. The area is secured. Admiral Kane is en route with the Liburn Marshals. We did lose three or four elements, that's a shame. The result will not prevent what is to come. Well, the Galactica and its crew, including the Agathon sister, have been returned to the Caprica Terminal. Caprica Terminal, okay. And know that the losses suffered will be yours to reconcile. Okay, but still, we successfully defeated the overwhelming eight Cylon ships in the beginning, and with that, we have completed Chapter Eleven: Negotiations. Let's have a look. Ample timer, of course, forty-four minutes. That's a bit longer episode but we have unlocked now the Jupiter 
And that means we have Artemis, we have nothing, and we have the Jupiter battle. So why the bloody hell don't we have this one? I want to know what this is. I really want to know what that is, bloody hell. Um, and we don't know what BA1 is either. Minotaur gun ship Janus Cruise. This is something we might as well unlock at some point in the future. The Atlas Carrier is something that we are building currently. And yeah, pretty much all the other ships we've already talked about anyways. But we do have now the Jupiter Battlestar plan, and we obviously are going to buy a Jupiter. I mean, that's just that's just a fact. When you're playing this game you, and you're not buying Jupiter Battlestars, I mean, then you're doing something wrong. But with that being said, with that being done, with the mission being completed, and this lonely little surviving Corvette here, well, being transferred to the lonely surviving other two Corvettes here, we're going to end today's episode. I really hope you've enjoyed this longer episode, but more punchy, more content, more juicy explosions and casualties on both sides. This has been Space Sheep. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.